feels really great. It feels amazing. I'm, I'm just um, seeing the faith of the Catholic community here in Los Angeles and seeing how much people are willing to um, rediscover that love for the Eucharist. Well, I think one important thing is living a life of joy. Just uh, what Chris Stefanik said today in his talk, and it's living that joy. And, and I think that's one first step in getting people to be thinking, what, what's different about this person? What was that change? And then hopefully that can start a conversation. Y después de haber estado en pandemia, después de haber estado en un tiempo de aislamiento, pues nos deja saber que la fe no, no ha muerto, ¿no? que la fe está realmente viva aquí en Los Ángeles, en nuestro corazón, que hay una sed profunda de Dios, una sed profunda de amarnos. Y sobre todo este día le ponemos rostro a ese amor que tenemos por Jesús, viniendo a la catedral, orando juntos, estando frente al Santísimo y participando de la misa. No better way to start my seminary life with the, the Eucharist. Um, how the Catechism says is the source and summit of our life. And I just feel that very present right, right now in my life. So my prayer today is that each one of you will open your hearts in a special way and allow our Lord to speak to you and to listen to your prayers. Ask Him to give you the grace to grow in your love for Him in the Holy Eucharist. Ask Him to deepen your friendship with Him. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus wants to dwell in our souls. He wants to live His life in us. And He wants us to live our lives in Him.